different way to test your SCORM files is by changing a variable inside the SCORM file. So we are going to open this SCORM file that I have renamed with the bug just to remember that it's, a little, it's going to be different. I open with WinZip. We open the folder SCORM driver and we are going to open this file. We just right click and go into edit mode. I say the file has a potential on save. You see when I open it, yes, no problems. It looks really like crazy, I know, but don't need to stress. We are going to find the worst the the word debug fine that next here is the variable I want to change this is the variable show debug on launch by default this variable is always false but we are going to put it to change it to true we save close we say update the zip file with the changes Okay, we close and we now are going to import this new SCORM into the SCORM cloud. Debug one, import. So, as I said before, this variable is always on false by default. So, when I change it to true, what is going to happen that when I launch the course, is is going to open this debug function so let's click on launch and here's my debug window so what it does is to fill this file with all the logs that are happening while I run my course so for everything I do in my course is gonna record here those steps so here click on start is is recording all those steps everything I do is gonna be recorded in this file Charada, and then exit I'm gonna exit the course and everything is here okay until it was closed so one thing you can do you can select all these and copy in a normal notepad that you can work with and find if there are errors here so one thing I do is I know for example if the file has this live stream SCORM error diagnostic if the debug file has that then it means I need to investigate a little bit more what's happening so here I can see that this uh, error is not in my debug file which means there are no issues but if uh, you find uh, this error or something saying stream score error diagnostic exceeded the number of characters then you really need to uh, dig deeper to find uh, what's going on with your score because this is gonna create issues in your in your training when you run it from your LMS so this is something you really need to fix in my blog I have explained a little bit more in detail uh, uh, possible actions you can take to fix this problem.